Hi friends, uh, today we are going to have a discussion on the deck seal, PV valve and PV breaker which is a new IG system. Previous uh, video we have discussed about the working principle and all the components description uh, in uh, IG system. Now in this one we are going to have a detail about the different type of deck seals, uh, functionality of the PV valve with all the sketches and uh, PV breaker also with the sketches. So we are going to discuss all these things in the coming video. Yeah, here is the schematic diagram we have already seen in the previous uh, video regarding the full functionality of it and how the components are working. So just for your reference, uh, I have given the diagram again. Now we are going to see about the deck water seal. So deck water seal is basically it is a main safeguard against the reverse flow of the gases from the distribution system of the IG plant. So it does not allow the IG to backflow. Okay, deck water seals come in the three variants, which is approximately uh, wet one is the used widely, and sometimes you will see the semi-wet type also and dry type seal. So these are the three types. This distinction is based upon the manner in which they achieve their purpose, and the brief distinction description of the each deck seals are uh, coming now. Okay, we are going to see about the wet type of uh, deck water seal uh, in this slide. Basically, it consists of a chamber semi filled with the water and two pipes for inlet and outlet of the flue gases is there while another two small pipes are also fitted which is for the inlet of the uh, sealing water and outlet of the sealing water. There is a demister pad also uh, there on top which is to remove the water droplets from the gas. That means the IG which is going to pass through that will be dried one or the removal of the water is done by the demister pads. The operation of this device is pretty simple and the two diagrams which uh, is coming next is going to show you how the inert gas is flowing from the plant to the distribution area or you can say the uh, deck side or, or all the tanks okay and uh, in that one uh, there are two things uh, one is the normal working and one is the uh, other abnormal condition when the pressure changes occur in the cargo uh, tanks okay so we will see this one now here you can see this is the normal working operations and this is something which is when you have the return of the IG you can see that so this is the deck water seal wet type you have this uh, water which is there already you can see one pipe is the inlet of IG which is submerged in the water and another pipe is outlet of the IG okay and this is something which is your inlet of the uh, sea water or the deck seal water and this is something which is the outlet which is going to the overboard okay so what is happening basically the IG which is coming over here gas this has to pass through this water seal and when we talk about this water seal so this is something which is uh, going to cool clean uh, the IG again okay once it is being done in the scrubber also now this has to pass through the demister pads the removal of the water droplets is done and then finally it is going to the cargo area to all the tanks where the uh, you have IG going to the various tanks so this is something which is a normal operation now this is something which the back pressure created in the cargo tank so what is happening this is going to pressurize okay so the back pressure is exerting on this so what is happening this will pressurize this water content because this is the thing there this pipe is not submerged into this the complete pressure will act on the complete water surface and due to that the water will rise into the IG pipe or it creates a seal uh, in fact you can say that and uh, it does not allow the uh, IG gas to go to the engine room side so this is something which is a natural sealing arrangement so in this this deck water seal both the conditions the normal conditions the gas flow condition towards the cargo tank number one the back pressure condition the cargo tank that is also being described okay now we are going to see about the semi dry type of the deck water seal okay in this water seal basically the normal operation during normal operation there is no water inside the uh, IG pipeline uh, due to the venturi action uh, the water get withdraws into a separate chamber that means the normal pipeline is dry okay and but when the back pressure occurs so it created the uh, pressure and the water goes to the pipeline and it maintains the seal that means this is the main difference so partially it is uh, wet partially it is dry so that we have this diagram how this uh, functions okay so this is the part which you can see over here this is your uh, semi dry type deck water seal 
and the IG cache basically passes through this one and uh, you have the venturi axon due to the venturi axon in this chamber uh, you have the you know, water which is there which already withdraws into it and it fills up into this one okay so the normal operation of the ig is dry basically it does not carry over the water but what happens when the back pressure occurs in the cargo tank due to the back pressure the water get pressurized it fills up into this and the ig comes over there so the water maintains this pressure that means it acts as a sealer so it does not allow the water to go back to the engine room side okay or from the hazardous area to the non hazardous area so this is your semi dry tap deck seal okay now we are going to see about the dry type of deck water seal so in this seal the water carryover is totally eliminated and to prevent the water carryover we are using the automated valve uh, whenever the water is required the valve opens and the water delivers okay so in this type of the seal the water is drained when the inert gas plant is in operation that means there is no water that's why it is called dry okay gas flowing to the tanks and it is being filled up with the water when the inert gas plant is either shut down or the tank pressure exceeds the inert gas blower discharge pressure that is your back pressure created then the uh, tank is being drained and it is going to fill up the seal and the water seal is being maintained only disadvantage is that if the automation system fails then there is a danger of the backflow of the gas from the cargo in this one we are going to see the complete diagram and the functioning of the deck water seal as you can see that this is completely dry this part is completely dry you have the drop tank over here and the gas coming through this pipe and going to this pipe this is towards the cargo tank this is the normal operation as you can see that okay but when you have the back pressure in the cargo tank this back pressure this is being sensed and this drop valve opens as soon as the drop valve opens the water which is which was there earlier in this tank drop to this part and it is being completely filled up and once the pressure is given by this gas that is your back pressure then in that case what happens it is basically pressurizing this and water will rise into this pipeline completely and this prevents the backflow of the ig gas okay so this this is something which is the dry type of deck seal okay now in this slide we are going to see about the pressure vacuum valve the functionality of the pressure vacuum valve we know that the main function of the pv valve is to prevent the over pressurization and under pressurization so here you can see the actual picture of the pv valve on the tank okay so here if the over pressurization occur so from tank the flammable vapors and the mixture of ig is going to press the valve will lift pv valve will lift and it will release the pressure to the atmosphere so it will prevent the over pressurization and here in this case if the vacuum occurs inside the tank then uh, it will lift again and the uh, air will go ingress into the tank and it will prevent the under pressurization in the uh, nice sketch of it and the description part of it whatever i have just explained to you guys you can see over this is your pressure part you can see here this is the valve stem and this is your uh, valve plate this is the valve plate pressure pressure side and the same thing this is your for the vacuum side and you can this one this uh, upper part which is being lifted basically it is giving you the space for the movement of this valve step you can see over here okay and this is your uh, uh, mess wire mess uh, or you can say uh, the flame arrester thing okay so you can see this tank nozzle is attached to the tank and you have the pressure inside once the pressure will act so the pressure will act on this complete valve disc and this will lift up the valve okay and uh, here the space which is being given it will lift up and uh, through this the cargo level vapors and ig is going to go out and the tank is getting prevented from the over pressurization but at the same time uh, it is something which is going to uh, create the pressure from top of it so this valve will be seated when you have the over pressurization and this valve will lift but when you have the under pressurization this valve will be seated remain seated because the vacuum is there it will pull down and remain seated but what about this so the backward force will on top you have the vacuum partial inside here and the air will push this one lift this one up and the air goes through this and it goes inside the tank so under pressurization is also being dealt with okay here you can see in the uh, rubber band 
Okay, in this slide we are going to have a discussion on the PV breaker part. PV valve we have already discussed. So you can see here this is your IG main line, IG main line, and uh, this PV breaker is only one in your um, IG system. That is uh, in one complete main line you have one connection of the uh, PV breaker. When the PV valve is not working then PV breaker will definitely work because no mechanical part is there in this one. You can see here in the normal condition the water is being filled up and the atmospheric pressure is there. As you can see the part A describes about the atmospheric pressure. Here part B describes about the operating condition we are maintaining in the IG line about 1000 mm of water gauge. So once you have the pressure in this one you have the pressure the pressure is giving to apply on the water level. So the sides two column you can see one in this side one in this side the water rises and this is maintaining the seed. So uh, this IG uh, is completely passing and going to the tanks and all and the pressure is maintained 1000 mm of water gauge and this maintains the seal over it. Okay. Next is your uh, this condition where the pressure is being relieved that means the pressure is going to increase inside the tank or you can say the over pressurization how it is being controlled you can see over here once the over pressurization occurs as in the normal condition up till the water level is uh, in uh, middle column is here and the side seat is here so now it is being pressurized and due to the pressure all the water will goes out okay and uh, this will be uh, near the PV breaker you will see the water is fallen out so that means the over pressurization has already occurred it's approximately 1600 mm of water gauge when we talk about the vacuum condition so what happened this is the IG main and the PV valve has not worked and the vacuum condition arises so what happened the air from outside from outside the air it pressurizes this and uh, along with the uh, water droplets the air also goes inside the tank and prevent the under pressurization or the partial vacuum condition you can see over here minus 400 mm water gauge so we have to understand that uh, the uh, PV breaker is uh, basically uh, operate and it is directly operating if the PV valve is not working okay okay now we are going to discuss about the safety and alarm system associated with the IG plant okay because uh, for the safe operation we have to keep the monitoring on the parameters okay so you can see here the high level in the scrubber also leads to the alarm and shutdown of the blower and scrubber tower if you have a low sea water pressure in the scrubber that is approximately 0.7 bar then uh, you have the shutdown of blower and if you have the low sea water pressure in your deck seal approximately 1.5 bar then you have the alarm and, and uh, in this one now the high inert gas temperature which is approximately 70 degree centigrade then it also leads to the alarm and shutdown of the blower low pressure in line after the blower that is a coming approximately 200 mm of water gauge this leads to the alarm and shutdown of the blower oxygen content high that is more than 8 percent leads to alarm and shutdown of the gas delivery on deck okay low level in the deck seal uh, leads to alarm and shutdown of the gas delivery power failure leads to alarm and shutdown of the blower and scrubber tower emergency stop leads to alarm and shutdown of the blower and scrubber tower okay. so uh, here you can see some of the additional part scrubber low level deck seal high level low o2 content one percent high o2 content five percent that is at the point of generation blue valve pressure alarm low low valve pressure alarm that is also be there now it is the picture of the mass riser mass riser means additional exit point you can see here this is the gas outlet from which the gas is uh, going out this is the mass riser the guard rails are being given so that you can walk over there the valve arrangement and the PV breaker which is shown uh, here and this is the IG main line which is there the mass riser is open to vent out the gases from the cargo tank to the atmosphere during the loading part of it the height is approximately six meters of the mass risers and it helps the dispersing in toxic vapors to the atmosphere in case of malfunctioning of the valve the mass riser the pv breaker will release the pressure or vacuum from the cargo tanks this is the additional part of it all of you i hope all of you have understood the description of your pv valve pv breaker and uh, the functionality of the mass riser and all okay so thank you we will meet in the next video